Monkey figure reviews. First of all, I want to say a happy 2017 to all of you guys out there. I know I'm one week late, uh, but still the same wishes. And uh, just a big thank you to those of you who have been following me from the start, all my subscribers, and even the new, newer ones. Thank you for all your support. I hope that 2017 will be awesome for everyone out there and for me too. I need to back up my results. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and uh, Today I'm going to be doing two figures, as you can see right in front, it is the Creator x Creator Monkey D. Luffy and the Boa Hancock version 2 and uh, I literally just got this about an hour ago and I rushed back home so I can do a review for you guys before before the light thing gets bad, you know, when the sun sets and uh, yeah, and it's probably gonna take a while because how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna I'm going to review I'm gonna open up it's brand new you know I'm gonna open up both of them at the same time and uh, we'll review each figure first I think the Luffy first followed by Hancock and then I will put them together to show you guys how it looks like uh, when both of these figures are, are put together in a set okay so as you might be able to tell uh, Okay, this is a Brand Presto figure and uh, they, this is a Sing Down series that I, I absolutely love and you can tell from the box that they purposely make this two figures to come as a, as a, you know, as a set, as a couple from this picture itself. So this is, this is like a rough image of probably what we are going to get. Okay, and we're going to see, uh, we're going to see the, the actual results when we take out the figures. Okay, so just a quick look on, on the box. Right, uh, you have some images and uh, of course Luffy here, Hancock here. Uh, at the top, different photos, and mine has toy stickers right over here. Oh shit, it's not focused. Uh, sorry. Okay, so you can see a toy sticker, so that's proof of the authenticity as well as this brand presto points thingy that you could use to exchange for gifts. This is the other side, and this is the back. So some information about the photographer and of course the uh, the sculptor too, and each figure actually has two versions, but I think the the difference is not too big. So basically, I have the A versions over here, and the tie for Luffy and the hat that red thingy at the back is it's it's red red in color. Hancock is wearing red a red dress and red hues as well. Then for version B, everything just becomes black. Uh, same for this and her hues becomes golden in colour. Alright, so not too big a difference. Unlike the Koda one where you see he completely comes in a totally different colour suit, like black and white. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's get going first. Let's focus on Luffy first, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to open it up now. Right, let's go.
Alright, so uh, I've gotten the, the parts of the finger out from the box. Uh, sorry for a bit of mess, uh, but uh, you can see very obviously this thing just comes in three very simple parts. And uh, I guess it wouldn't be too difficult to put it together. Okay, so Luffy himself comes in two pieces, the upper torso and the lower and his legs. So you can see very obviously it's a it's a it's a pack. It's just pack kind of fitting. And wow, it actually it isn't really tight, so you can just slot it in, unlike some of the other fingers that I got from Ben Presto. And just like that. Okay, and you have it. You could actually put him just like saying like that, you know. But it looks a bit weird. And uh, the, the, I don't know what you call this, a couch? Yeah, it just comes in... It's very light, you know, like it's different material form. Because previ previously, they, previously with the other figures with the sitting down version, they have like couches, like sofas. And it's usually more heavy, so it kind of feels weird for me to... The whole lighter kind of plastic kind of, kind of seat. Uh, but it still looks good. It still is good, and you just put him on like that. Okay, so I want to talk about how what I think of this figure first. This figure, and one thing I noticed is the head here. Uh, it's it's bent in, and I'm not sure is it because it's it's been pressed again inside the box so it's a bit damaged hopefully I could I could straighten it out to make it look better if not it would look kind of weird and uh, of course the head itself the details are pretty amazing you can feel the texture the color is pretty on point too uh, for the shirt his creases throughout are well done as well as his as his pants uh, not much shading, I, I think. Not a lot. And uh, his tie as well, it's, it's a bit loose, so be careful not to snap it, not to pull on it. Uh, it'll be quite fragile. Yeah, and his hands, the details. You can see how they, how they, how they sculpted the fingers and a little, bit of, a little bit of veins on the top of his hands. And of course, Lastly, we have his slippers. His slippers or sandals, whatever we call it. You can also see a little bit of the bone structure, and the texture on the texture on it. So you can feel it. So it's pretty nice attention paid to the details. All right, and uh, I think just maybe something it's it's a bit off of the face. As usual, I feel that the face is really really important. Uh, like, I don't know. It's not. It's not exactly the same, is it? Maybe it's the. It's the hair. Or maybe it's how they took the photograph. You know, with the lighting. Yeah, I think the hair like it's a little bit white here for the actual figure, so it looks a bit different from the picture. And uh, obviously the the, the the like mentioned the the couch is light, but it still gives off the the extravagant feel. It's black in color with this uh, gloss, a little bit of glossy paint. To make it a little bit more classy. I'm I think we'll see the same thing with the Boah Hancock figure. Okay, so so uh, this is it for now. I put it to the side and we're gonna open up the the, the other one. Okay. So uh, here it is. Let's go.
Okay, so uh, right here right now, I've just taken out all the figures, all the figure parts. Uh, you can see there's four. Um, uh, there's a, this couch again, and Hancock himself, herself, comes in three pieces. <laughs> she, can't, she looks kind of weird like that. <laughs> Cracked me up. Okay, uh, but uh, um, yeah, so his, her, sorry, her left and right legs come separately. And you just gotta fit it in. And uh, wait, which one goes where? Uh, is this is this is this the right way? Okay, I think. Yeah, I think this one goes in here. Simple kind of. It's the same kind of pack thing. This one's a bit more tight, as you can see. I, I really hope I'm putting it in correctly. Am I? Yeah, okay, I'm putting it in the right one. And uh yeah, this is definitely more tight than the Luffy one. And yeah, if you're interested you can actually see the, the undies here. It's uh it's black in color but it's not too obvious. And then this is the other leg. Let me just try to force it in. Okay, uh, so this is how she looks like and you can see, you know, for her to be leveled, you need her to be on the couch. So I'm not going to talk much about this because this is exactly the same, I would say. Let me just compare it now. Yeah, it's, it's almost exactly the same as the one from the Luffy, uh, from the Luffy figure. And I'm going to talk about Hancock first. Wait, so this is probably how she looks like. Wow, she how she looks like while she's put on the on a on a couch. Uh, but let's look. A, let's take a look at some of, some of the figures' features. Uh, I think the face they done a really really good job. I think it's really well done. Like I mean, Hancock herself is really really sexy and it captures all of that the elegance and charm that she gives off all the time. All right, the earrings are not movable. They're golden paint. They're gold painted. Uh, but just be really careful. As usual, this parts parts like this of figures are usually really fragile. Okay, and uh, her hair is well done too. She's lifting her hair at the back. Uh, you can see all the lines that it did when it sculpted. When it sculpted the hair, amazing details. Um, all right, and can look obviously her her, her chest. They didn't hold back there, showing off uh, her exit, her assets. All right, not much shading too, for even for the dress, the color, and the body. Unlike the King of Artists figures, uh, there's something like I don't know what to call this, like <coughs> bracelets. Golden bracelets on her left arm. Okay, and uh, fingers are, are nicely done, just like the Luffy figure. The legs have quite a bit of black marks, like painted marks, on it. Uh, but this is, of course, a price figure. You don't expect top quality uh, products to come out. So it's fine. It's okay. It's expected. So if you if you usually if you meet these kind of problems, you gotta be more accepting to it. All right. Similarly for the heels, you could see it's red in color. It's a little bit painted with glossy paint. Bottom is black. Uh, sorry for not focusing. Uh, okay, and uh, this is a bit of like a a little bit of. Splurge marks from the paint over there. Not as much on the other side, but a little bit, you know, it's, it's a bit visible. I'm not sure if it's very clear for you guys on the camera. Yeah, but like I say, it's, it's fine. You expect a little bit of errors when it comes to these kind of things. All in all, I think she looks really wonderful. Or I'm, I may just be biased, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to bring in Luffy now. So you can see how they look like. 
uh, this is how it's supposed to be displayed uh, I guess with Hancock uh, showing a little bit of seduction towards Luffy and Luffy just doing his own thing not giving a damn yeah but I think it's pretty amazing you can even put them closer together if you want so it's really really up to you uh, how you want to display the both of them Alright, I think this is probably how I'll do it. Uh, I won't do a 360 because I think it's a bit difficult and uh, you guys probably already seen how the figure are, the figures are like. I will now move on to talk about the height as well as taking out some of the other figures for you to do a little bit of height comparison. Okay, sorry for the overkill but I'm trying to save time here and um, yeah, just talk about height for these figures first. For Okay, it's gonna be from it's gonna be from the couch to to the top of the figure, uh, whatever it is. So for Luffy, it's rather short, uh, about. Oh, it's a little bit hard for me to see. It's about four inches. Yeah, about four inches and ten point five cm. Uh, whereas for Hancock, she's about she's slightly just taller for her position. 4.5 inches and 11.5 cm Okay, so uh, I have Soji King here and uh, Ace here from Master Starpiece to let you guys do a little bit of high comparison with products from different lines and uh, uh, for the Master Starpiece like I mentioned in my previous reviews it's the same one as the King of Artists so you can use that as a reference uh, Okay, I'm gonna move this back Okay and uh and as you can see let me just move closer I have Luchi there as well uh, like I mentioned previously when I did a review for Luchi I think almost all of the creator, ex-creator figures they are on the same scale with one another it's pretty obvious right there alright so even they might be of different height uh, because of the way the, the sculptor designed the figure, the pose of the figure, they are still mostly of the same scale. Okay, and uh, for me personally, how I'll do it is that I'll, I'll probably display them like that. I think it looks uh, looks pretty, pretty badass. I'm still lacking Mihawk, my man, uh, but I may be going to Japan in June uh, or, or July. So maybe I'll just pick it up then. <laughs> okay, and I know a uh, previous. I know recently they have the relay one also a little bit like a uh, the silver's relay. It's also the sing down version on a lock, but I'm not sure if it fits into into this cool cool guys over here. This cool gang, cool click. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for all of you. Uh, the both of these figures are amazing. Uh, if you live in Japan, try to get them in the arcade, or if you're going to Japan, if not outside, uh, it should be it should be quite decent price if you know where to look for. I'll definitely recommend them, uh, especially if you ship Luffy and Hancock a lot. Uh, for me, I just love the the style of the figures, how how cool they look. Yeah, that's enough to buy me over. Okay, and uh, yep. So thank you guys for all your support. If you like it. Uh, this comment uh, if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel hope to see all of you guys again bye